Okay. Hola. How is everyone today? We are good. How are you doing? I'm lovely. Um, we haven't made a video in, in a little while, but um, uh, I've been busy back to teaching yoga. Um, and I'm really, really enjoying it. I really, really like it. Um, it kind of takes me out of uh, my head a little bit. It's like my meditation now that I can't practice asana. Um, I don't know. Is there any, any news in the, in the news front in the medical business, the medical whatever? I, I love know. the medical business. I don't know. Whatever. This is the business. You say it's the business, <laughs> like the medical, the business. That's the way you do it. I know there is no news. Uh, actually, there is, obviously. Or else I wouldn't be here. Um, so we, we get, we're lucky. We get to go see... Um, lucky, huh? <laughs> We get to go see our oncologist uh, next week so we can make a choice as to who we want to pump the poison into Yolati's body. Um, although we're not calling it that. We're calling it nectar. Yes, sweet nectar. Um, it's going to save my life. That's why we're calling chemo. So, uh, you know, so me in typical me fashion has researched everybody that there is to research. <laughs> We've got interviews with the people we want to interview. And um, we're very much looking forward to getting the chemotherapy started. It's very fear. Well, both of us are full of fear as to how it's going to go and, you know, what it's going to be like. Can I just tell you that um, after having a double mastectomy, and that was, I think, 14 or 15 days ago, and it, I, something dawned on me the other day, and I was like, oh, my God. Thank God my husband is not a boob man. Because oh, yeah. Yeah. if he was a boob man, can you imagine? I would be so... I guess, I mean, I mean, it's kind of disappointing that you have to lose your boobs to cancer, but it's kind of good news that you, your husband is not a boob man, and he doesn't really care for them. So I'm so thankful to the universe and God or whatever I have to be thankful to that I married a man that is not a boob man. So that is my positive look on cancer this video. Thank you, baby, for not being a boob man. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, although I will tend to disagree with what she says, I think most people, um, the reason she's laughing and smiling is most people have to be super afraid um, yeah. that either their spouse or, or their significant other, or if they have no one, maybe they'll never get someone. Because such a drastic change to their body, um, something they've had for years, it's now not there. Yes. And it's, it's the self image problem that, that, you know, a lot of, I'm sure, women suffer from having a mastectomy. Um, the stigma of not having the, the breasts or whatever, it, you know, it's just not something we are willing to engage in. <laughs> so we have to look at it like we look at it. Um, all we care about is for my wife to be healthy and to live. That's the end of it. At the end of the day, that's what we care about. But for those of you that are going through it, you know, you're beautiful from... No matter what. From everywhere. Yes. And from the inside yes. out, from not from the outside in. Yep. And if you look at life like that, like my wife and I do, you know, look at how pretty she is. I know I'm not Brad Pitt, but I got her somehow. Um, <laughs> because I'm nice on the inside and it comes out. And my wife is a beautiful woman from the inside out. And I don't see any of the rest of it. I really don't. Um, I mean, I guess if I had to give a piece of advice to husbands in support of their wives, you know, you have to really look inside and, and, and look inside of these people and, and just see how the strength that they have, the love that they have, the, the qualities that drew you to them. They're not gone, and they're never going to be gone. Chemo can't take it. Cancer can't take it. Nothing can take away from me what made me love my wife, and they never will. So, um, no, I'm not a boob man. With that being said, thank God he's not a boob man. Luckily. He makes it so much easier on me. I'm a, I want my wife to live, man. That's what I am. <laughs> so... That's the news I have for you. And then from here, um, I think that's it. I will make I will be making another video um, um, probably after we see our oncologist. And um, there's fun stuff happening around us. And then we'll let you know all that later on in videos. Um, but right now we're in a car in New York City. We have an appointment with a friend. And then we, um, I said to my husband, I haven't been to New York City ever since I found out I have cancer. So I don't know. I just... I feel like throwing that in there. I love so New here York we are. City. Here we love are. the traffic. Love coming at rush hour. <laughs> love sitting in the car waiting to pay fifty dollars to park the car so that we can go pay, you know, all this money. That's okay. Awesome. It's alright. I still you it's still uh, at least you're not a book man. True that. Well thank you all again for watching my videos. Can't wait to um, make some more and um, you know, just think of positive. Um, 
my theme this week in, in, in my classes have been don't sweat the small stuff and it's all small trust me it's all small thank you kisses kisses to Kaya I know you watch my videos ooh we're doing shout outs now I wow. know we are alright